Today we're breeding our cow rosebud, so Jay's getting what's called a breeder's sleeve on, which is really long. You'll see why it's necessary. Then he puts some mineral oil over it. We've warmed up some semen and put it into a pipette. It comes out of a liquid nitrogen tank that keeps the semen really cold, like a lot colder than it would be in your freezer. This is Rosebud. She's been milking around 90 days, so it's time to get bread. And this morning she was bellering and being stupid and jumping on everybody. So this afternoon we're going to breed her. We'll breed her again, probably this evening before we go to bed, just to give it an extra chance. Cows have a certain period of time that they can get bred in, and if you get outside of that time period, they won't breed. She's got a nice, beautiful slick coming out. That's a very good sign. Also for timing. Explain that. The slick coming out is the transfer system that if I get the semen put inside the cervix, the swimming semen will use this mucus to swim back into the fertilization site. Jay's keeping the pipette in his shirt because it's a farmer's quick way of keeping it warm while he gets the job done. He has a few minutes of wiggle room to get the pipette in the cow, but <clears throat> you want to try to get things done as quickly as possible. Now he's just wiping it clean so that he has room to work. And it's good to be sanitary. Go down to open up the extremities. This is the hard part right here, which is why not everybody just breeds cows all the time. Besides the fact that keeping a semen tank is fairly expensive if you're not breeding lots of cows is he's trying to go through the cervix? Three angular rings of the cervix. And so he's got his arm in there to feel and help for him to get the pipette through there, but it's still an interesting task to get through those rings. You need to get through there because it gives the semen, gets the semen a lot closer to where it needs to go. He's feeling it and feels like he's made it through, so he's got his hand on the plunger, and when he feels like he's in the right spot, he's going to push that plunger in. So he's all done. He's bringing it out. He massages a little bit just to relax everything and help that semen go where it needs to go. And cleans everything up. Rosebud says thank you very much. That wasn't very fun, but we hope she gets pregnant so she can have a baby someday.